Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to another video on my channel. I'm usual host Terasa TCG as always and this is the follow-up follow up video for the Chin Rider deck profile. If you haven't watched it, you should definitely watch it before watching this video. Uh, in this video we're going to explain the, the basic combos and um, the tactics or what you can do with this deck and what monsters should you summon and so on and so on. You, you, you name it, you know what I mean. Um, let's start with a pretty, pretty, pretty easy combo. And this, this two card combo. Um, this two card combo with Astral Kirby. It says you can special summon it by uh, revealing one number XC's monster in your extra deck. This is all probably gonna be uh, the number 92 or, or the number C107. So you're gonna reveal that. This or this. Well, let's say we're gonna take the number C107. We're gonna reveal that, and then we special summon our astral review. And for rest, for the rest of the turn, we can only special summon number XC's monster from the extra deck with the rank we declared. So he is rank rank nine now, and that actually works because he is now oh not rank nine. He's <laughs> he's level nine, and we can only special summon XC's monster rank nine now. So number X is monsters. So he's level nine, and that actually works because this says activate one of the effects, special summon one level nine monster from your hand, or target one level nine monster you control, which is the Astral Kuruba now. Special summon from your deck two level nine monsters, each with different original type and attribute from the face up target monster, and with a different ends from each other. Blah, blah, blah. But these ten, two monsters cannot attack, also destroy them during the end phase. So we're gonna activate that, and now we cannot summon Light and Fiend. So then. I need to detect. <laughs> no light and no fiend. So we just gonna go with uh, Vala. Because she's fire and fairy. And with, with, I don't know. We can go with Hela, for example. For example. Hela, because she's dark and zombie. So now we have three level nine monsters. And we can go into... Xyz rank 9 and also here's a nice little side effect uh, 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 Xyz monster that got summoned with Astral Kuribu cannot be destroyed through battle or card effects So we're gonna summon our number C107 or our number 92 whatever you want with our three little 9 monsters And here is uh, it's that easy to uh, summon this guy Just to know what just that you know what you can do with that. Also, if there's the opportunity, if we have a Chinweather monster in our hand or in our grave, um, if Vala gets special summoned, we can special summon a Chinweather monster from our hand or graveyard. So you can even extend that. Um, for example, you have um, Lopthel, or Lopthel in your grave or hand too, or or Madel or whatever, you're gonna special summon Madel and then activates Madel's effect, you search boss stage, and so on and so on. For example. Alright, that's it for that. The next combo is a little bit longer, but basically this one, this two card combo is a uh, full combo. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is. Um, how? Okay, very easy. You're gonna normal summon Lopter. You can now activate Lobtel's effect. You can tribute one Chin Raider monster, also himself, and then you can special summon one Chin Raider monster with a different name than him. I, of, of course, I could uh, tribute Model, and then I could search uh, special summon from deck after Chin Raider monster except Model. So I'm gonna tribute Lobtel, and I'm gonna special summon from the deck a level nine Chin Raider monster. I'm gonna do that. Lopter is in the grave. And we special summon from the deck our Madel. So, if Madel gets special summoned, we can add to our hand a Chin Raider card. Any, any type of Chin Raider card. And we're gonna add to our hand the Chin Raider boss stage. Chin Raider boss stage to our hand. Now our hand looks like that. And now we're gonna activate Word Legacy Monstrosity on Madel. Same thing as before. We can now special summon two different level 9 monsters 
from our deck except light and plant. So we're gonna take Vala and Hop. So we're gonna special summon those two. In the attack or defense, doesn't matter. Uh, we don't use Vala's effect now. We could. We could use Vala's effect to special summon Lotr back from the grave, but we don't wanna do that for now. Because if Vala gets special summoned, we can special summon a Gene with a monster from your hand or a graveyard. So, and now, what next? <laughs> we gonna Xyz summon. We gonna Xyz summon in with Vala and Ha into our Levertain. Gonna Xyz summon Levertain. Blah, blah, that way around. So, and now, we're gonna activate the last card from our hand. The Gene Weather boss stage. We're gonna activate the boss stage. So, and now we're gonna activate Levitain's effect. We can tribute Levitain again. We can, the quick effect. And then we can special summon a non-fairy Gene Weather Xyz monster from our Dexter, Dexter deck. And then we can attach to it materials from either, uh, either side of the field or graveyard. So we're gonna do that. Send all of those to the grave. That's the grave. <laughs> and we're gonna special summon a non-fairy type Gene Raider Xyz monster. There's only one other and that's Yomongandr. We're gonna special summon this and attach to it. That's important now. Do not attach Vala or Har. Attach uh, World Legacy Monstrosity and Lopter to uh, Yomongandr. So, and now we're gonna use Njormungandr's effect. We can detach from material, then both players draw a card, and then both players must attach a card from the field or their hand to Njormungandr as material. So we're gonna detach Lopter. Then both players draw a card. I draw a card now too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that one. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, I draw that, and I'm gonna attach a Star Kuribu to him. And, your, and the opponent gonna attach his card. And because the opponent draw draw a card now, through Human Gandhi's effect, the opponent draw the card, Junior Boss Stage activates, um, as, 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 as it says, once per turn, if a card is added to, from the main deck to your opponent's hunt, except during the damage step, you can special summon one Junior monster from your deck in defense position. Then this triggers. We're gonna do that. And that's also important, but we now special summon now. Special summon healer. Very important healer. Nothing else, healer. <laughs> and then we're gonna use healer's effect. Uh, we can now tribute uh, any Gene Hurler monster and then we can special summon a Gene Hurler monster from our graveyard but with a different name. We're gonna do that. We're gonna tribute healer and special Vala from the grave. And now, that's why we don't use the effect of Vala before. Now we're gonna use the effect of Vala because when she's special summoned, we can special summon one Tune Raider monster from our hand or deck. We're gonna special summon Har again. And then we're gonna again go in rank 9 Xyz with Madel and Vala. Not with Har, with Madel and Vala, nothing else. Into Phantom Fortress and Tablatnir. We're gonna use Phantom Fortress effect. Detach Vala and then we say banish one random card from our opponent's hand. We are in first turn. Okay, this is the first turn of the game. We're gonna do that. And after we did that, we have now two rank 9 Xyz monsters. We're gonna summon our number F0 Utopic Future with Yomongandra and Fort Phantom Fortress and Tablatnir. Everything else goes to the grave. And on Utopic Future, we rank up with uh, number F0 Utopic Draco Future and the Xter Monster Zone. And then we're gonna pass turn. And then in his draw phase, there's also part of the combo. In his draw phase, between the boss stage activate. We're gonna special summon from the deck. Up to you. You can special summon Needhawk or Utgarda. 
Well, most of the time I go for Nidhogg. So I'm going to special summon Nidhogg. And then we can special summon as many generator tokens as we want. So we could now special summon three. That's why we, we put him in the extra monster zone. So we have more space for the tokens because we special summoned a generator monster in the opponent's turn via boss stage from our deck. So we can now special summon three generator monsters. And what do you have here now? So this is um, probably, yeah, more or less an Omni Negate. You know, we could negate any effect. He can negate uh, a special summon, and Utopi Track of Future can negate um, a monster effect. Yeah, that's it for the for the main combo. Uh, in your grave, your grave looks like that. For now, Lopter, Hilao, Levitain, Vala, Madel. With legacy and that's the card which was randomly drawn before <laughs> all right also another little combo you could do it's not as powerful as the combo i showed you last this two card combo vala and lopter um you can special summon vala we are discarding a chinuera monster to the grave we gonna discard Lopter, special Vala, effect Vala. We can special summon if she gets special summoned. We can special summon another Chino with a monster from hand or graveyard. We gonna special summon Lopter, effect Lopter, cheap it Lopter. To special summon Madel, then effect Madel to search a Chino with a boss stage from our deck to our hand. Uh, then we go in Xyz. Xyz 9, of course, as always. Into Levertain. And then effect Levertain into your Gandra again, attach to it a uh, Lopter and Madel, some material. Activate um, <laughs> your Gandra's effect, detach Madel. Both players draw a card. I draw that. He draw this one, attach that because the opponent draw the card. Boss stage activates. Can special summon from the deck any Chinwither monster you like. We're gonna special summon our Ha. And then enter. And then it's his turn again. Then we're gonna use again Chinwither post stage. And then you could do, as so in our grave is our these, these three are in our grave. You can also special summon now from the deck if you want to. Um, Vala. And then if you do that, it's very important. <laughs> because now you have the choice to activate both of these effects, boss stage and Vala, Vala to special summon a monster, and boss stage to special summon as many tokens as possible. If you do that, always uh, chain it that Junior the boss stage is chain link one and Vala is chain link two. So first activate boss stage to special summon tokens, and then activate Vala to special summon a Junior the monster from your deck, uh, from your hand or graveyard. Then the chain um, resolves backwards, so you can first activate Vala's effect, then special summon Madel back from the grave, and then you summon two tokens, and then Madel's effect activates. You can add from your deck any general record, and yeah, and it goes on. All right, so much for that. Uh, and then to the God Hand. Yes, we have a God Hand, the absolute God Hand in this deck. Would be would be a four card combo, <laughs> so not easy, too easy to get. But all of these cards you see here, we run three times in the deck. So this is the court hand: uh, one Dogmatica Matrix, one Lopter, one Dogmatica Ecclesia, and one World Legacy Monstrosity. <sighs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go through the combo quicker than before because you've seen that <laughs> already. So, normal summon, Lopter, Lopter effect, stupid Lopter, special summon, Madel, <laughs> Madel, Madel, then effect Madel, search, post stage, post stage to our hand, then from our hand, from our hand we activate World Legacy Monstrosity on Madel, gonna special summon from our deck, Ha and Vala, do not use Vala's effect, this goes to the grave. These are all here. Then X is 9 with Har and Vala. Into, into Levertain. Then from our hand, we're gonna activate our boss stage. 
Pro Stage activates, Effect Levertain, Tribute It, also the Grave, Special Summon. Yorman Gandra again, attached to Yorman Gandra as material through Levertain's effect, Monstrosity and Lopter. So then activate Yorman Gandra's effect, Detracher material, that's Lopter. Every player draws a card and then must attach a card from his hand or field to it as material. I draw a Needhog, I gonna attach Needhog, then opponents attach some other monster because your opponent add, added a card from his main deck to his hand. Post stage activates, we can special summon now a tune with a monster from our deck in defense position. This is gonna be Halo. Then effect Halo, we can tribute a tune with a monster and special another tune with a monster from the grave except the one we tributed, so we tribute Halo. Special Vala, now we activate Vala's effect. So special summon a tune with a card from your hand or graveyard. This is gonna be Har. And then we're gonna again mix these nine with Madel and Vala into Phantom Fortress and Tablatnir. Gonna activate the Bloodness effect to banish a one random card from your opponent's hand. We're gonna detach Vala. Then we have two rank nine Xyz monsters and we use those two to summon number F0, Utopic Future. Everything else goes to the grave. So, and we're gonna rank up on Utopic Future with number F0, Utopic Draco Future. In the extra monster zone. He's in the extra monster zone. Uh, important that he's in the extra monster zone. It's really important. You have to play that in the extra monster zone. So in our hand is dead left because a special summon monster from an extra deck is on the field. We're gonna special summon Ecclesia. Activate Ecclesia's effect. Search any dogmatical card from our deck. Uh, dogmatical card or so. To our hand. Activate Dogmatica, dogmatica Matrix. We yeah, have no space now. We have to place it here. Dogmatic Matrix. Add one ritual spell or ritual monster. Dogmatica. Ritual Spell Monster from our deck to our hand. We're gonna add Dogmatic Catastrophe to our hand. Now our hand looks like that. This stays on the fields because it's a permanent spell. Activate Dogmatic Catastrophe, Special Summon Dogmatic Alvasor. We are sending Dragon Monster Knight from our extra deck to the grave. Special Summon uh, Alvasor. Then activate Abasura's effect because it's the first turn. Your opponent has no monsters on the field, so he has to ch choose this effect for every two cards in his extra deck. He must send one card from his hand or extra deck to the grave. So he has 15 cards in his extra deck. If he has an extra deck, then he has to send seven cards from his extra deck or hand to the graveyard. And then we're going to activate also Dogmatica Matrix. This says. Um, once per turn, if you control the dogmatic ritual monster, with what we do, you can look at either player's extra deck and send one monster from it to the graveyard. So he has to send eight monsters to his grave. So half of his extra deck we have, yeah, destroyed by summoning Albazur and Dogmatic Matrix. Uh, that's it for, for our turn. Then his turn uh, begins in his draw phase, boss stage activates. We got a special summon from our deck. A chicken with a monster. It's gonna be Needhog. Gonna special summon Needhog. Stage. Uh, it's only one space left, so we can only summon one token now. Um, so, what do we have here? This is Monster Negate. This is Special Summon Negate. This is uh, more or less uh, Omni Negate. Um, a monster that's unaffected by the effects of Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, and Link monsters. Uh, a monster that cannot be destroyed by through monsters special summon from the extra deck. Uh, yeah, exactly. So this is the god hand. This is the god hand and what your field looks like after you are able to play through um, <laughs> your wall combo, which is not guaranteed of course. Uh, Nibiru wouldn't hurt you very much because you could negate that with Drake Your Future. Um, 
what's what's very very what would be very devastating now if he goes into battle phase or before the battle phase he activates um infinite impermanence on her then enters enters battle phase and battle phase and plays it in the match then you are pretty much fucked uh, <laughs> of course evenly matched is uh, yeah but if he only has evenly matched you can negate it with her but if somehow manages to uh, negate the effects of her then you are pretty much doomed anyway so and for the x attack combos um, or generally for the x attack Dragon Master Knight as I said is only here for Dogmatica Albasor so nothing more to talk about that this uh, beatboxer on the ins, 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 um, is very important and choice you're gonna usually rank up on um, Yomugandr when he has a lot of material because he, he gets every turn basically he gets one more material and if he somehow has seven or eight material then rank up with Zeus and you have a lot of board wipes so much to uh, uh, Divine Ausner um, a little bit mixed up here well, Levitain, most of the time you're gonna summon Yormon Kandri with uh, Levitain's effect, of course. But you can, of course, summon Yormon Kandri normally by using two monsters level 9. Um, yeah, so much to Levitain and Yormon Kandri, nothing more to talk about these two, actually. <coughs> um, Phantom Fortress and the Bletney is pretty self-explaining, I guess. Uh, number C107, a target for the Astral Karibu, and he can negate all cards on the field, and no one can activate cards after he dead, dead. so also very nice. Number 92, Hot Earth Dragon, where he basically um, your monster version of evenly matched. So now, this is um, one of the combo pieces or where you can play a lot with. The me Meteorologic Aggregator. So, if he gets summoned, you can send one exotic monster from your exotic to the grave, which is always ins, 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 a beatboxing lady. And then you can destroy any card on the field if it is sent to the grave. So, and then the second effect of the Meteorologic Aggregator you can target monsters in your graveyard and attach those monsters to him as material. And then you have to detach as much material from the aggregator as monsters you have attached from the grave to it. So the idea is um, you have, yeah, so let's say that's um, is material, material, and it's is in the grave because you sent it with the meteorologic aggregator. You activate its effect, you uh, attach this again and detach the other material, whatever it was. Um, and then you rank up on the Meteorologic Aggregator with number 84, the Pain Gainer, because you rank, can rank up this card on a level, uh, on a rank 8, 9 or 10 Dark Exist Monsters, and he's Dark rank 9, so perfectly. You're gonna rank up um, <coughs> with the Pain Gainer, and then you can activate Pain Gainer's effect, detach this again, and you have, again can destroy another card on the field, and if there are any, you can destroy as much monsters on the field which has equal or lower death than Pain Gainer. And also a nice side effect, if Meteorologic Aggregator is sent to the grave, you can target one card on the field and negate its effects until the end phase. So also very nice. And if you have done that, you can rank up further on number 84 onto number 77. Yeah, pretty obvious. And of course here the same thing. Um, you can detach uh, if you haven't used it before Intis or Aggregator from number 77 uh, to destroy a card and to negate a card on the field. So very nice. So much to that. And there's another thing you can do with the Aggregator and Intis. You need another card for that. That would be the Sacred uh, Tree Beast Hyperiton. That says that, that as a <laughs> you first have to summon Meteorologic Aggregator. Send Intis via his effect to the grave, and then you activate any monster effect, for example, I don't know, any monster effect, um, and then you can add uh, attach but um, monster from the grave to Hyperiton 
Hyperiton as my material. So if if you if you play and you play, uh, activate a monster effect, you can attach a monster to Hyperiton as a material. If you activate a spell, you can uh, attach a spell card to Hyperiton as a material. And if you activate a trap card, you can attach a trap card to Hyperiton as a material. And I guess you already know what this is going <laughs> to be. You activate a monster effect, and this is in the graph, you attach to Hyperiton. Then you pass turn, uh, your opponent activates any effect, I don't, I don't know, a monster effect. Then you detach, and this negate the monster effect, and you can destroy another card. Then in your turn again, you activate a monster effect, chain Hyperiton, you can again attach this as material to Hyperiton, then his turn, and so on and so on. <coughs> so there's a little bit of a, a never ending loop as long as Hyperiton is on the field, of course, and this is in the grave. Otherwise, this uh, doesn't work. <sighs> okay, I guess that's it so far. Pretty long video. <laughs> Hopefully, it was not too confusing. The try it out, feel free to modify it as the way you like it. Um, thank you very much. In. I hope it was very informative <laughs> for you. If not, let me know in the comments what you want to wish me to do better or what did I not so good. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and until next time, <laughs> goodbye.